Hi, I'm Thomas Koch, Chief Strategy Officer of BitLift Cybersecurity. This is the fourth video in our BitLift series on CMMC. In this session, I'll be focusing on defining the basic process levels of the CMMC, of which there are five. Again, remember that in order to conduct business with the Department of Defense, you will have to meet one of these standards. And that covers both new contracts and the continuation of existing contracts. As a first step, I want to reiterate that there are five levels based upon practices and processes. You can be at level five in processes and still not be deemed level five for the CMMC if your practices, which we discussed last time, do not match up. The goal for any organization is to progress as far up the levels as they need to be to continue their contracts and win new contracts. Regarding processes, at level one, there are actually zero required processes and security is just being performed. That increases to two processes at level two, three at level three, and so forth. A contractor will advance from performed to documented, to managed, to reviewed, and then to optimizing at level five. Level three is, again, the key level where most organizations should fall. They'll have processes documented, a written policy, and a security plan in place that is being followed to achieve the level of managed processes. To get more detailed information, visit our blog, where I'll define these in deeper terms so that you can have them in written form for reference. Keep in mind that level three is key here, as most organizations will fall into that level. On our next video, we'll dive deeper into what a CMMC assessment process may look like. Thanks for watching, and remember, this is the fourth in a series, so stay tuned and check out our other videos and content on our website at bitlift.com, and feel free to connect with us on our social media channels.